All right, guys, we are on our way to a countertop snack machine that we have. It's been about two months since we were here. Usually I stop by once a month, but the last couple of collections were a little bit on the slow side, if I remember correctly. So I just decided to give it a little bit more time. Here we are, we are going into a break room. All right, so here's the break room and boom, here's the machine. And I, I was so happy to see this thing almost empty. I mean, this, this is awesome. I couldn't ask for a better collection here. So we'll go ahead and get this thing opened up so we can see the coinage. All right, guys, so we got it opened up here. We are gonna go ahead and pull the coins and take a look at that. That thing was heavy, super thick. I'm gonna pour it into a jar so you guys get a good visual at just how many coins we got. It's almost all quarters, a few nickels and dimes. This older countertop snack machine does not accept bills, so it's just change, but these guys use it. All the items in there are buck 25 a piece. And boom, you guys. So I'm gonna tell you what we did at the end here because I mean, there's, there's a good amount of coinage right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, stock this thing back up. We're gonna try out some Almond Joys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you think this is a good move or not, I know people have mixed feelings about Almond Joy, but small town in Wisconsin, I'm thinking it might go over pretty good. And I've had great luck with these Reese's Take 5 bars I've been putting in all the machines lately. I also got some Heath bars. So I'm just kind of changing it up. Some of them have been doing really good. Here's what we got going on. 100 grand, whatchamacallits have been doing good at a couple locations. Nut rolls doing good. So yeah, that's what the bottom half looks like. Went ahead and stocked up the top. That's what that looks like. Gonna try out the combos, got some sun chips. So yeah, this thing, this thing's ready to go. We've got it all locked up, you guys. Grand total of 75.25 in coins coming out of here. After that, I made a couple quick stops at a couple different thrift stores. I don't usually find books, but this $2 book looks like uh, it sells for about 15 to 20 bucks. Here's a couple comps for you guys to see. So we picked that up, just kind of helps with the gas money. This is a very small town in Wisconsin. It's about 20 miles from where I live. So definitely like to stop in these thrift stores. The second thrift store we went to, uh, they had this shelf and they said everything on the green shelf is free. So here's Dr. Doolittle 2, still sealed brand new. That should sell for about 10. Um, I'll have to look up a couple of these other VHS tapes. But yeah, I'm gonna take most of these home with me. That thing is nasty. Um, we also got a vintage cookie jar. This Care Bears VHS looks like that. this will sell for about 10 bucks. So for free, we can't really go wrong. Thanks for watching the video today, you guys. Take care out there and good luck. Bye.